here we go again another early morning ian is back ian last week caught your ever first smallmouth bass ever yeah, large like, mouth bass first, ever first large mouth yeah you had a good time awesome learned a lot learned a lot a lot of spots a lot of different things to look at when you're looking at the i mean the environment what you can use what you can use what you're looking for finding confidence to find fish yep change the camera today we're doing something different last week i told you i catch you a large mouth today we're headed to lake ontario to catch the biggest small mouth of your life i promise if you even catch one it'll be the biggest small mouth of your life are you excited yeah i can sleep you can catch <laughs> off you can catch like a six pounder here this is probably best chance other lakes i'm going to are six or a seven pounder let's get it let's get after it we are up yesterday we we're gonna it was the opener to zone 20 for smallmouth bass we didn't go just because thunderstorms all day today they're calling for thunderstorms huge thunderstorms this morning but it's getting pushed back till this afternoon so one second it's saying it's thunderstorms the next second it's saying it's beautiful we're just going with it we'll get down there we're going to worry about it we have rain suits everything we possibly need but thunderstorms are going to figure it out ian are you ready i'm i'm ready i've been ready i know you were early this morning let's go load this truck it's about 5 30. it's probably going to take us an hour and a half we're also going to a spot in lake Ontario i've never been before so we got to find fish again <laughs> Foggy. I can't even see the island that's out there. It is foggy as can be. Ian's backing me in, and then we're gonna, we're gonna go fish. I'm excited. I'm really excited to catch big bass today. Ian, we made it. We made it. That was a, a decent drive, but not a crazy drive. Yeah, it was. I mean, you couldn't see nothing. See, so, cool. yeah, there's so much fog out oh, here. Weird. If you guys look, there's an island right there. But when we were coming across the channel, you can't see you can't see ten feet in front of you. Oh, we were Ooh. in the clouds. So here's where we're at. I've never fished this part of Lake Ontario, but I know there's bass here. We got to find them. You have what? Do you, what do you think the biggest smallmouth you've ever caught is? Two pounds. Two and a half pounds. If you catch a fish today, you will break that. So we're we're gonna try to find some fish here. We're gonna keep track of what we're we've caught. We're not gonna try. We're going to. We're find going them. to find some fish. We're gonna keep track of them. I am gonna get the rappel scale out here. I'm gonna try to beat six pounds. I know I've probably caught a six pound smallmouth in my life, but I I didn't weigh it. So we're we're gonna say that my personal best is right at six. So if I beat six today, that will go down as my personal best ever smallmouth. Are you ready? Been ready. You've been ready. Been ready. Let's put this camera down and catch some fish. Oh, that's a big fatty. What do you think of that, man? Oh, he crushed that. We've been searching for bass forever. Finally got one. Oh, I think we should probably weigh him. So our plan is to weigh them right in there, grab my scale, and see what kind of bag we end up with. So there's the first one. I'll bet you he's 396. See the scale there? Here we go. Turn that on. Zeroed weight. First fish is three and a half, 403. 403. It's not working. I'm running out of battery. Oh, 403 is the first one. Remember this. See ya, bud. Oh, one. There you go, boy. Hell yeah. Think that's your record so far? For sure. Yeah? That's the biggest smallmouth? Uh, yep. I'll bet you he's three pounds. Three pounds. Good one. Get him back. Good one, buddy. 
Oh, that's a giant. Giant, giant. Get the net. Get the net. Go, 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 go. That's a freak. How's that for a small mom? Can you get a picture on my phone? Oh, what a dandy. Four and a half. Four and a half, not a giant. That is a big old donkey. See ya, bud. Oh. Here's another one. We finally found some fish. Ian, we've been fishing for four hours. I got one four pounder. Ian just landed his first one. And we finally found fish. I have never fished this part of Lake Ontario. So it was a bit of a finding mission, but now we're starting to see fish consistently. Ian just caught his first one. Do you feel good? I feel really good. I just see more right now. <laughs> we got four pounds on the scale. The 403 is the biggest one so far. So we gotta find a couple more giants. We're looking for giants now. I feel a little better. I was I was getting a little heart attack-ish because we weren't getting any fish, but feeling better now. We're finding them. Not a monster, but it was a good jump. Back one time. Good jump. Small mouth. Fished all the way into the back of that bay. Got a few fish. Ian, you haven't got a giant yet. Not a giant, no. The last weekend versus this weekend, what do you think the difference is? Do you think this is harder than what we did last weekend? I mean, they both have their pros and cons. Yeah. I think that this is more finding the right spot. Yeah. And yeah, they're not everywhere here. And last time it was looking for the right places. Yeah, makes so, sense. Sorry, the right areas that the right cover habitat. yeah yeah like the right cover so here there's not a whole lot of cover they're not like hiding in weeds or on drop off they're all just kind of spread around these giant shoals all we're doing today casting search bait batter bait spinner bait and then when we see one we use drop shot and catch them and they're getting bigger even the ones i'm getting are starting to get bigger still looking for a six i don't think the batteries in this thing are working i think that last one i landed was way bigger than four pounds because the one I caught after that, it was like two, and I weighed it, and it weighed four pounds too. So, are you ready to keep going? I'm ready. A new shoreline, a new adventure. We're gonna get a giant. Get big boy. You gotta get a big one, man. We gotta get a big one. He's got it. There you go. Well, for sure, that's your biggest. Go easy, go easy. Oh, I almost knocked him off. There you go, man. There you go. There you go. Oh, donkey. Hold that up. Look at that one. Get right in there so they can see it. Quick way. Quick way. This will be your personal best. Here we go. This is going to be Ian's personal best. 376. Hair under four pounds. It looks way bigger than that, eh? Yep. Let him go. Nice and gently. See ya, bub. What did you think of Lake Ontario? I think it was tricky. Yeah? Deceiving. Um, going out this morning, we couldn't see nothing. Uh, now looking at how far we went, it was uh, a whole different ball game than what we thought. Uh, morning time, we saw a better fish. We did see a lot more better fish in the morning. <laughs> that didn't even make sense. A lot more better fish in the morning. I've fished a lot of different areas in Lake Ontario. This is not my favorite. I'm gonna say that. Not that there wasn't good fish. We did see quite a few good fish, but I would think I would drive the extra half an hour. The Gananoque, Thousand Island, Kingston end of this rather than fishing the other side. That's my two cents in this. We didn't get any 
super freaks, you did get your first big small mouth. Yep. So last weekend we got you a good large mouth. This weekend we got you a good small mouth. I finally got to try the Stealth Invaders from X-Zone. I really like these baits. We use them drop shotting today. Ian, you caught most of your fish using a white one. Exactly. It was a good day. I'm yeah. a little tired. We had to get up early. It's a long drive. I did enjoy myself. The weather weather was on our side for sure. Cold drinks on the way home. Put those stealth evaders back so we don't lose those. I'm gonna want those. I don't know. I feel like the next time I come do the Lake Ontario Jam, I am gonna go a little farther east to that Kingston area. The other thing, I'm gonna let Ian, I'm gonna get Ian's opinion. After doing largemouth last week and smallmouth this weekend, which one do you like more? Largemouth. I like largemouth too. Yeah. I like smallie fishing, but my heart's with the buckets. We have had a good day. It is hot out, it is muggy. That smoke in the air too. It is like hazy forest fire smoke in the air. Did you have a good day? Would you come back to Lake Ontario? Uh, yeah, I think I would try somewhere else though. I would like to, I, I wouldn't. Lots of potential. It does have lots of potential. I didn't get a super freak. The other thing I learned today, if you're going to weigh fish, make sure you put new batteries in the scale at the end, at the beginning of the season. Home time. Home from fishing. Brooke just got home. I saw her. She, they just went in the house with the puppies. They went and got us Harvey's for dinner. Super nice of them to get food. Kind of a sad moment here. First, it's the last time this GMC truck is going to be in the videos. It is getting traded in this week and I got something new coming. So stay tuned to the next video, but it's been a great truck, GMC. This GMC truck has been a great truck. It tows my bass boat awesome. It's really good on fuel. Great day on the water with Ian. It's all about having fun. Feel like Ian learned a lot today about smallmouth fishing. I do have a little bit of disappointment level in me just because Lake Ontario is so good. Like the bar is like awesome Matthew's good. And today I feel like it was Brian Reeves good. All right, kind of tough, but we'll get them. I'm glad I got time out on the water. Right now I'm going inside. I'm gonna eat some Harvey's. I'm gonna spend some time with the family. Ashton has done school. He's here till Tuesday. Then he goes back to his mom. So I work tomorrow. This is like our last time to hang out. So my friends, thank you so much for coming along. Thank you for all for watching. Thank you. If you get a second, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Hit that like button. We'll see you on the next adventure. Just without that GMC truck. See you soon, my friends.